Hi guys, my name is Amul More and we are solving black book. This is chapter inverse trigonometric functions. We are on page number 360, question number 2. Okay, so the question says that we need to find out the solution set for this big equation. Okay, just observe the first two terms. You can take cot inverse x common. So what will remain is tan inverse x plus 2 minus pi by 2. Okay, then you can take minus 3 common and what will remain is tan inverse x plus 2 minus pi by 2 which is greater than 0. Again this whole bracket is coming out to be common. So tan inverse x plus 2 minus pi by 2 and cot inverse x minus 3 which is greater than 0. Let us take minus 1 common from the first bracket what you will get is pi by 2 minus tan inverse x minus 2 and then cot inverse x minus 3 greater than 0 now as we all know tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 therefore pi by 2 minus tan inverse x is cot inverse x so what we will get is minus cot inverse x minus 2 and cot inverse x minus 3 is greater than 0 just multiply both sides by minus 1 we will get cot inverse x minus 2 and cot inverse x minus 3 less than 0 let us put cot inverse x as y so we have y minus 2 and y minus 3 is less than 0 the critical points over here are 2 and 3 for wavy curve so let this be wavy curve 2 and 3 okay then if we put any right side value which is let us say 4 you will get positive so you reach 3 at 3 the bracket power is odd hence the turn or the change in the sign at 2 the bracket power is again odd so there is a change in the sign so these two are positive and this is negative we need negative therefore y lies between 2 and 3 that means cot inverse x lies between 2 and 3 now we need to take cot on both sides so that cot inverse cancels but the derivative of cot inverse x is minus 1 upon 1 plus x square as 1 plus x square is always a positive number this negative sign tells us that the derivative of cot inverse x is always negative therefore cot inverse x is always decreasing this is very very important now as cot inverse x is decreasing when you take cot on all sides the inequality sign changes so x is less than cot 2 and x is greater than cot 3 okay now you need to understand more few things that the derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x now cos x square x is always positive hence derivative of cot x is always negative what does it tell you it tells you that cot x is a decreasing function it means that on the number line if you draw this cot of 3 will be lesser and cot of 2 will be greater this is very very important as your x will decrease your y will increase hence if x is greater then the y will be lesser hence cot 3 is a lesser quantity and cot 2 is a greater quantity over here it is said that x is less than cot 2 x is less than cot 2 and over here it is said that x is greater than cot 3 so x is greater than cot 3 now let us check out the intersection therefore the intersection is cot 3 is less than cot 2 hence cot 3 is less than x is less than cot 2 hence the correct option is option number b thank you for watching the video guys and do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel